Konami finally dropped the ban list. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. In today's video, we're checking out the new ban list that just came into effect like a couple of minutes ago. I saw it and uh, I haven't even been keeping up with the meta that much, but I am going to YCS Minnesota. So I do want to see what I'm going to have to figure out and what I'm going to have to play. Also, I want to do a quick announcement. The 150K special is coming out as soon as we get it edited. My editor's working very hard on it. I had three hours of footage. It's very, very long. He showed me the progress he's on. So he said between Wednesday and Friday, he'll have it done. So that means maybe by even Saturday at the latest, I would say we'll have it out so keep an eye out for that sorry for the delay on that i know we already hit 150k shout out to all you guys for doing that let's check out the ban list and let's see what got banned unbanned i all i saw so far was one person say that it was the worst ban list they've ever seen so hopefully it's exciting we'll find out so it updated 926 so this one is effective until october 3rd which is you know a couple weeks before minnesota so it was just updated today all right, let's see. Fairy tale snow. Wait, is that a ban? They banned snow again? Wait, didn't they unban that recently? And then they banned it? Okay, so there goes snow. If you uh, had your fairy tale snows and you didn't sell them, sorry. They're probably, uh, probably banned now. Okay, uh, this is Ronin Toten. Isn't that a tier elements card, I think? Yeah, you guys, I didn't play any in this format, so I'm sorry. But I think that was used in tier elements, I believe. Maybe it was sprite. No, it might have been sprites. One of the two. So uh, it seems like it was a little too good. How have Vibrax got banned? Oh my goodness. So they put it from full power to limited last time and now it's banned. So Halka Fibrax is completely gone. So there goes all the value from your Halka Fibraxes. They reprinted it in Ghost from the Past too. They cashed out on that and now it's completely banned. So Halka Fibrax is gone. I think that's probably a good thing with how many cards they had to ban for Halka Fibrax to stay alive. I think a lot of people have been complaining about that for a while. So Halka Fibrax is completely gone. That is not surprising to be honest, but pretty crazy. Okay, next up we have Chaotic Ruler. The Chaotic Magical Dragon is also now banned. While they've banned how many cards now one two three four four cards okay they're really trying to change up the format uh chaos rule of the camp chaotic magical dragon is now banned i'm not going to give you too much insight of what these cards do because i don't even know what deck that card is in but uh i do know what it is it is now banned let's see if there's anything else all right now we have uh red reboot is now banned okay red reboot's been at one for a long time hasn't it that's interesting so red reboot is now banned it is a very, very good card, so I kind of get why it's been banned and it's no longer allowed, but interesting. Okay, so that's five bands, five new bands. That's pretty insane. Uh, and it seems like we're going into the limited now. Let's see what else there is. Limited, we have, they unbanned some stuff. Blackwing, Steam, the Cloak, Cyberjar! Yes, Cyberjar's back, baby! We're gonna play some Cyberjar decks. All right, I'm deaf, you know, you know I gotta run the Cyberjar in my next uh, my next tournament for sure. It seems like they're slowly bringing back these older cards that really aren't that good anymore. Like they were insane, back. like Cyberjar back in the day was unreal, and now it's just not that good anymore, you know, because you have to flip it. I mean, who's how are you gonna flip it? it it's Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, it's not freaking GOAT format. It's 2022 Yu-Gi-Oh, Cyber, Cyberjar is not gonna be that great. So it's cool to see them bring those back because I mean, they're really not that great anyway anymore. So it's a limited. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it gets past that, but there might be some kind of weird loop where you could like deck your opponent out or something like that. I don't know. Uh, okay, Phantom. Oh, they brought back O Lion. I think O Lion was banned because of Halka Fibrax. Could be wrong about that, but uh, that makes sense. So that's actually good because this card was like two cents. It used to be like a two dollar card. It was like two cents. They brought it back. So it, it's probably still not now, but Substitute. Here's another Toad. So the Toads are really getting hit pretty hard because those decks were pretty, pretty strong. So that one is now down to limited. Oh, wait. They unbanned this. Wait a second, which one did they ban? So they banned Rodent Toten and they unbanned Substitute. That's interesting. So, okay, interesting. I thought they were <laughs> they were hurting both of them, but they're not. They're actually like, I guess maybe giving a slightly worse version. I don't know, that, that's very strange. Interesting, so Substitute is back. Very cool, what else do we have here? Uh, we have a spell, whoa, oh, spell book of judgment. Holy, oh, that is a big one. Spell book of judgment. This card I think was absolutely insane. Like when it came out, what set was this in? It was in, oh, I can't remember. Oh, wasn't it in like the Tachyon set? I think it was in that set. I can't really remember, but it's a, it was a secret rare. Really insane card that people said couldn't come back like at the time, but obviously the Yu-Gi-Oh game has changed so much in like the many years it's been banned so it's come back it's now limited so we'll see if that actually matters spellbooks come back I remember spellbooks people hated them in Duel Links so I never actually played them in like TCG but 
I can only imagine they were not fun to play against. Like, it probably takes like 50 minutes to like do your turn and stuff. Porn of the Red Lotus is now limited. Uh, was this previously? Yeah, okay. This was not anything. So this is now limited, which is interesting. Okay. Porn of the Le Red Lotus got hit. Any semi limits now? Let's keep going. Uh, there are no semi limits. Wait, there's only three semi limited cards. Is that right? <laughs> There's only three semi-limited cards, yeah, and Pot of Desires is one of them, which is weird, so um, I guess with the only ones that it really makes sense out of, it's like if you can run two in the deck or whatever, so three semi-limited, let's see what else, okay, uh, oh, they did a lot here, we have Nadir's Servant's no longer on the list, baby, let's go, we're bringing it back, we're bringing back Invoke Dogmatica Shadal, baby, it's happening, Fusion Destiny's back too, we can run three, so we can actually use DP, maybe, sort of, so probably kind of bad, but we can do uh, Fusion Destiny now that the Anaconda's gone. It's not really any good. They unbanned the Wall of Revealing Light, another old card. So they've slowly trickled that one to unban. That's probably what they're going to do with Cyberdraw and stuff. Uh, light Stage for Trick Stars. Benton. So I really, I guess, um, Drytrons are just terrible now. So uh, there's no point. Shooting Riser Dragon. I mean, this was limited to unlimited. I mean, completely. Dynamite, uh, the true Draco Fighter. Wow. They really unbanned. They unlimited seven cards. My goodness. Okay. So all I'm saying is. The deck that I always play, we just got Fusion Destiny back. We got Nadir Servant back. That's all I'm saying. We're back. I don't know. I just bring my just bring my old deck. We're good to go. I don't have to change anything. This is great. This is great to see that. Okay, so my favorite one, definitely Cyber Jar because old school, and that's all we really care about around here. I don't have a lot of insight when it comes to actually a lot of the playable cards, but I am really looking for myself because I want to see what am I going to play at YCS Minnesota. I'm leaning toward the old school deck. A little invoked. I don't think it has any chance against these new decks, but maybe I'll just do it. I don't know. Maybe I'll do it for fun. Let me know in the comments what should I bring to YCS Minnesota. If you're going to be at YCS Minnesota, make sure you come say hi. I should be there barring any tragedies or anything like last time so it should be pretty fun so i'll see you guys in the next one hope you guys enjoyed this bandless reveal i'll see you guys in the next one again for the third time i'll see you guys i will see you guys in the next one peace